Hello everyone, welcome back. Some more ranked conquest. Finally! He's playing some ranked! And uh, yeah, sorry, missed the start of this game. Forgot to start the recording, but it's a good game. It's kind of a good way to, I think, show team at strengths and like the weakness. So many people are like, oh, oh, hunters are OP! Hunters are OP! Go play them everywhere! No. No, don't play them everywhere. Hunters are not that OP. Hunter solo. I think there's actually... I think Hunter Solo is not terrible right now. They're in, like, the best spot I think they've ever been in. But I don't think they're in, like, so good of a spot that you can just pick Hunter Solo whenever you want in, like, whatever matchup. And here, too, he's Hunter Solo into a Tiamat. And you're like, Tiamat? Tiamat Solo? Isn't that a mid laner? No. No, fuck your mid laners. It's a Tiamat, baby. I think Tiamat's really strong right now. Just because... Every single game is going late game. And so, <coughs> Tiamat, wow, I'm bad. Tiamat is able to just, basically if Tiamat hits the late game, he will carry. He, cause he's a tank and a mage at the same time. With his uh, passive having those inherent damage mitigations, it's kind of unstoppable how strong he is once he just hits that late game. The only weakness is his early game and right now, because the early game kind of just doesn't matter because you're so safe since you're basically like the changes they did they just gave everybody a free defense item for no reason so i don't know i'm not a super big fan of it it's because like in like other lanes like i'm sure in mid lane it feels great that you're not getting like ran down by the jungler over and over again but in the solo lane you can just like kind of play whatever you want and not really get punished but at the same time it's kind of cool because it does give you like more room to like outplay and stuff like you see like every single uh every single interaction is just an idea of like trying to out trade and now mana is like actually important which is cool but it also just makes the early game not very punishing which is too bad oh it is punishing if you build defense but eh. But, uh, yeah, so, let's see how this is gonna go. Basically, my goal here is to just get to the late game, and also try not trade this guy, because Tiamat has that inbuilt sustain, so you'll see every single wave here, I'm just tr hard trading onto him. And the reason is, is just because he doesn't really have any sustain. He does have lifesteal, I I'm assuming he's gonna go to Vower's Gauntlet, but he's not gonna out-sustain Tiamat damage every single wave. If I go and hard trade onto him every single wave, he's gonna get out traded super super hard because Tiamat's a really good 1v1 god. And he's gonna run out of sustain and he's gonna get forced out. And then once you are forcing people out, that's when you can start looking to do some invades, right? Like look to take their blue buff, take their back camps, maybe like force them back to base and get a rotation in the middle that they can't do anything about. That's really like where the outplay comes it all comes from out trading your opponent in lane so yeah how you guys been i've been kind of horrible lately i've been sick out of my mind like you i don't know if you can hear it at all in my voice maybe it's a little gravelly but oh it's been bad it's been rough i literally like uh, yesterday and the day before that, I was literally bedridden all fucking day, which sucks, right? I, I have so many videos lined up, so many bangers I'm ready to do. Like, I have a, uh, <clears throat> I have kind of a, a minion mechanics, like a short minion mechanics tutorial lined up, and then I, I'll have a Geb ranked game that I want to post, because, you know, I'm a one trick. So you see in this situation where he's trying to trade onto me because I haven't cleared the wave yet, I still out trade. It's kind of ridiculous. TMS just super super strong. And I d haven't even like popped my sustain. So this is the power of Chernobog right here is he can just ult and I can't do anything about it. The only thing I can do about this is just try and punish his rotation as hard as possible. So I'm going to be looking to uh, maybe proxy here. And try and steal their back camps. That's the only thing I can do. I mean, I could like back and run to it, but I'm gonna be super, super late to the fight. So I might as well just try and out farm him here and basically make it so that 
if he rotates, he loses more for it. And you'll actually see, my team kind of worked out for them. Uh, they It's a one for two, so like obviously not super good, but I mean, it's a one for two and they killed Chernobog, which means I get so much. Let's check the speed buff maybe? Oh, too bad. Now, if they get the Gold Fury, then I'm going to be very sad, and I'm going to wish I had rotated. But, looks like they're too low to do gold. And look at this. I might get a blue buff here. And yes, I do get the blue buff. That's also the power of Tiamat, is the fact that he can eat the buffs means that you have a very hard time out confirming a Tiamat. Now, it can be done, but you have to outplay the Tiamat, like, probably like two or three times to actually do it. Mercury's looking for a gank here. Let's see if he can get something done. Oh, you gotta hit those, Merc! He's trying to kill me. That's not gonna work. Easy kill. Oh, it does end up being a trade, though, which is too bad, but I'm okay with that. It's because... Oh, I'm not okay with that. Come on, Merc. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Usually in those situations where you kill the enemy solo laner first, and then the jungler kind of dumps everything into you to kill you, that's usually beneficial just because the enemy jungler has nothing up and your jungler has everything up, so your jungler should win that fight, but you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out like that, and that's okay. Ugh. A little stuffed up right now. But yeah, I'm super excited on this TM match just because this, like, I'm actually having a very successful early game. I have a pretty decent lead on this guy. I have really good buff control. And I'm already out trading and everything like that. And my late game only gets stronger. Now, he also scales pretty hard. But the thing is, is that I scale... Look at this poke, by the way. Oh my god, we got another gank here. Oh, Merc! That's fine, though. He should die. Just gonna slow him with my ult here, I assume? Yep, good slow. And then... Really good gank by the Merc. And this is kind of the weakness of the Hunter solos. Even though, like, I, I was complaining earlier that you basically just have a free defense item, so they're super safe. They can still be punished, especially if you're also building damage. And, like, you saw right there. He just gets ganked once, and he's like, not even... Oh, he was out of position, I'd say. I just get another blue buff. So stupid. There's nothing the Kuzumo can do to try and save that. They might be able to kill me. I have beads, and so I don't really care. Yep, just beats that. The entire team's here. I might die. Uh, I, oh, not not so bad. So, right there, I got the invade, and I made them once again. They dumped everything into me. They literally. They had four people at their blue buff to try and defend it, and they didn't even defend it. <laughs> See there, I'm kinda, kinda clouding on the enemy team, they're like, No! No, the DMA got the blue buff! Everybody get there! Everybody go, go, go! <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh... I don't know, it's really bad time to be sick, because I have like a pretty, I had a pretty important presentation coming up. And luckily my- because I was basically just presenting like the future of like the client's financials basically like where they're kind of going with the company and everything like that and I had spent a decent amount of time working on it probably like a couple of weeks and I was just gonna put all the finishing touches on it and like make up an executive summary and everything and then I got so sick I couldn't even fucking walk and I was just like oh <laughs> why you know Honestly, is there a better way to deal with, um, to deal with, like, stuffy noses and stuff? Because I literally, I think I spent probably, like, six hours. Dude, my water heater's, like, suffering. Or it was. Because I spent, like, six hours in the shower because I was just so stuffed up and I was in so much pain. Like, I'd literally wake up in, like, searing pain. Look at the power of Tiamat, by the way. Just like one trade, and that's like half of his health. He's not gonna sustain it. And this is what I mean about like a team at hard trading onto you. And now, look, I take the trade on it, and now he can't fight me, so I just get his blue buff for free. 
This is how you push a lead right here. It's not by getting solo kills or anything. You don't care if you kill him. What matters is you ma basically make a threat so that this is not going to work. Oh, caught his dash. Oh, if I had my jump, he might actually die there. Oh no! Oh no! This this Merc's playing really good. That was a good gank. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm not 100 percent yet. Anyways, before I got totally distracted by literally everything, oh, <laughs> I was talking about oh yeah, me being sick and interfering with my work. Yeah, so I'm an accountant, right? And I was, like, making up the summary and everything like that. And I wasn't able to actually finish up, like, put the last finishing touches on it. So, my boss covered for me and did the summary. And in the meeting with the client, she's like, Oh, yeah, Jeremy, uh, is he AFK? Oh, my God, he is. In the meeting, she's like, Oh, yeah, Jeremy made this summary and he's going to present it to you. And I was like, in my head, I was like, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, out loud, I was like that. But in my head, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I haven't even looked at this shit. Like, what? Getting, like, flashbacks, like, high school English, when my teacher would be like, Oh, yeah, uh, Jeremy, what happened in the last chapter of the book? Me, who, like, hasn't read the book for the entire fucking time. I'm just like, uh, like, shit happened and stuff, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> it's just like... I had the bullshit so hard. I was talking about fucking like current ratios, and I was like, "Oh yeah, this is like, this ratio is like talks about how much you have in terms of your assets, and you know, since it's so high, it means you can maybe invest it mo a bit more." And the client was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really helpful. Yeah, this is amazing." It's just like, "Oh my god, thank god." <laughs> I was in, like, I was so fucking terrified, and then at the end, everyone's, literally everybody in the meeting, like, like, people in the company I'm working for, and the people, and, like, our clients are just like, man, you're, like, you're, like, really good at this, you're, like, a natural, is this, dude, the client was like, yo, what are you doing after you, like, finish working up with these people, I was just like, is this guy trying to, like, offer me a job or something, so, like, I, anyways, long story short, thank god. I never read the book in English, and I was able to bullshit my way through all that class. The training was impeccable. It was absolutely impeccable. And <laughs> Yeah, so, um, you know, next time, hopefully I don't fall, like, deathly ill so I can properly prepare for the presentation. It's, I mean, it's not like I had no clue what was going on, obviously. Obviously, I knew it was happening, or else I wouldn't be able to give this guy, like, proper financial advice. This Apollo should just die, by the way. But, you know, it's still just, like, I like to be, uh, effective in my, just everything, basically. Like, I like to be good at what I do. And if I'm giving you, like, a sort of subpar presentation, I don't, I'm not very satisfied with it, so. Look at this. Look at this fucking Gold Fury. Look at this lead I have on this guy. This is fucking crazy. I have a three-level lead on this Chernobog, and basically all this is is me just bullying out the Chernobog, and then because I bullied him so hard, I was able to take the tower, and then shove the wave up so I get a really good rotation. And then that super good rotation, let my team get a pick on the, uh, a pick on their ADC and a Gold Fury. And that's really kind of, like, the most important thing, in my opinion, of being a solo laner, is not necessarily getting a lead, but, like, pushing it, you know? Like, um, uh, you basically, you have to get that lead, and then you have to spread your lead out to the rest of the team, or else it's not gonna matter. Like, if you have a 5-level lead, let's say, but the rest of your team is, like, super far behind, because, like, the enemy solo laner is- Dude, why do they hate me so much? Jesus. Yeah, but if you have a massive lead, because you've, like, never left lane, and you don't rotate at all, but then the enemy team- the enemy solo laner is like down like three levels and like 2k gold, but he's been going and making an impact on the rest of the map. Even though you're the one with the lead, you're the one playing bad and you're the one getting outplayed. So you need to make sure that you really influence the rest of the game as a solo laner. Super, super important. 
but uh, yeah and so you see that's what i'm trying to do here and even you can actually just like push out one lane and impact the rest of the game if you're pulling aggression but that's kind of a risky way to go about it because a lot of the times if you're getting like two man rotated three man rotated on you have to make an outplay to uh not die and you know it's pretty easy to outplay these players because you know i'm kind of cracked like that but why put myself in a position where i need to make an outplay when i can just put myself in a easier position to shove the lead Ooh, maybe killing the loki here and you see, look how annoying I am. This Loki can't do shit to me. Look at that. I just basically, while he's just trying to farm, he's forced to ult defensively. Do you, you need to realize how much of an impact that has on the game. The fact that this Loki can't even go and grab his backs without being forced to ult means he basically can't play the game. He can't make an impact on the game at all. And then you'll see here, I just dropped my- this is a power of team map, by the way. You can drop the minions, and they'll split push and still get you experience, and then you can go impact the map otherwise. So I went to do that. I went to go, maybe go for a rotation. Didn't work out, actually, so I just hovered, saw there was nothing happening. Just come back. See the Kuzumbo on the ward? He might be trying to gank me. Oh, no problem. No problem. Oh, I'm getting fucking cringe ganked again. I can actually kill this guy though. They are not going in. Odd. I know the Loki's stuff is coming back up. Oh, you gotta hit those, Jeremy. He's still dead though. To die. Oh, he lives. Oh, that's so sad. If only Jeremy hits those. <laughs> this is a super good fight for us though. I mean, Chernobog's just dead. Because he's Chernobog and he basically depends on his team to help him. That's the nice thing about teammate, you don't need the fucking team. This is just dead. Nice. And now we can grab maybe fire here. We're gonna pull fire? Yes we are. And this is just kinda snowballing the game. And this is really how you push a lead now. Is it's a little bit slower and it's a little bit more gradual in this new patch. But it definitely can be done, and you definitely can just roll a snowball on your opponents. It just takes a lot more thought and a lot more, like, actually outplaying. So I'm just gonna try... <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking clowning the team again. They have two global ults, and they're still getting out-rotated to all the fights. It's... Re they're playing this team comp really bad, and it's probably because they're tilted. If I'm this- if I'm this team, I'm so mad that the Chernobog's just getting shit on this hard. But also, dude, this patch sucks. Look at how hard I'm just destroying this Chernobog. And I only have a two-level lead on the guy. Like, if this is pre-patch, I literally have, like, four levels on him or something just ridiculous like that. Like, I'm, like, level 20 and he's, like, level 14 at this point. So it's definitely, like- the the new patch where they're trying to stop the snowball it definitely worked it does not snowball as hard anymore it just kind of lets you play these like really fun late game characters but uh yeah i um so i canceled my debit card got a new one just because there's like some suspicious uh there's like one suspicious like doordash payment on it and it's just, like why take the risk right and so i cancel it and i was like you know i'm gonna let like my spotify subscription go out i'm not gonna renew it or anything i'm not gonna put the new card details on because i don't need it right what is because i had the uh student one so it was hulu it's like five bucks a month and then it was like hulu and some other things i think showtime and everything i was like i only watch hulu for family guy and do i really listen to that much spotify like it's not that big of a deal so i fucking i let it run out Oh my god, is this Chernobog dead? Dude, this poor guy. <laughs> he can't play the game. I let it run out. And it's horrible. I'm an addict. I'm such an addict to Spotify. I load it up. And I like hear an ad. And I'm just like. <laughs> Where's my music? <laughs> this is horrible. Literally, I thought, I thought it would be okay. I was like, I don't need Spotify. You know, I don't need Spotify. I fucking need Spotify. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna renew that shit for sure. No question. 
But, uh, yeah, get my family guy back. I missed my family guy so much when I was sick, because I watched a whole bunch of shows. Jeez, look at the damage from the team at. It's so strong. And look at these mitigations. If you see in the passive in the bottom left, that, uh, that number, 1114, that shows, like, how much damage you can mitigate. So look at this. I can just tank the Phoenix, just casually. I can act as a tank, even though I'm full damage. It's so ridiculous. This character is so good late game. But anyway, sorry, I keep getting distracted from my story. I was watching when I was sick. Hella, hella TV shows. Um, mostly, I really wanted to watch Family Guy, but... But I left my Spotify run out! Ah, I'm so bad! And I left my card, uh, here at my apartment. So I was just, I wasn't able to renew it at the time. It's okay, though. I have it now. I have it now. I have it. I have it, I swear. But I was watching, like, I went on, uh, Disney+, Plus because no fucking way am I letting my Disney+, Plus run out. I fucking knew that shit instantly. And I was watching, like, the What Ifs on the, the like, the Marvel section, the, the What If, and it's, like, super good. Like, I watched the, uh, the What If, the Avengers were zombies one, and I was like, that's fucking cool, man, because it was basically, like, um, essentially it's just, like, right around, like, Thanos time when they had, a uh, like, Thanos was arriving on Earth to go get all the Infinity Stones, so it was, a, like, Infinity War kind of stuff. Oh my god! Oh my god! <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, get fucking shit on, Apollo. That play literally made me sick. It was so sick. <laughs> yeah, the Thanos, it was, like, right around the Infinity War time, and then he just gets fucking dunked on by like zombie doctor strange and zombie iron man stuff and i thought that was really like interesting where like the superheroes turn into zombies but they like keep all their powers and like sort of like their their skills too because obviously like iron man has no powers but he still had like his armor and he was still able to do that stuff and like um doctor strange he has like technically he has no powers either he's just like using it's like a skill the magic or whatever and, but he was, like, still able to use his magic to make, like, portals and stuff. So, I thought that was really interesting. And it actually made the zombies, like, interesting. Because that's, like, the one thing I've always kind of hated about, uh, like, the zombie movies and stuff like that. It was, like, let's be honest. If a zombie, like, let's say, like, a typical zombie. Like, the, when you think of a zombie, you think of, like, a brains. And then he's just, like, walking around super slow and, like, being generally non-threatening once again by the way this tiamat look i'm super tanky and you notice i dropped the uh ah whatever tiamat's op and he can tank fire giant even though he's full damage it's stupid anyways like you think of like the typical zombies you like brains and they're like so non-threatening and like so easy there's no way in hell they would like infect the entire fucking world there's no way, right? Like, come on. Are you kidding me? Like, sure, maybe they, like, no one knows about the zombies. And they're, like, there's, like, a guy, like, walking around slowly. And you're, like, oh, are you okay? And then you walk up, and then you get, like, zombified or whatever. But once people figure out, hey, there's fucking zombies here. Dude, that's, like, the zombie apocalypse is over. Because everyone would just walk in, and they'd be, like, oh, so there's a zombie here? By the way, sick, killing the invisible Loki. Like, oh, there's a fucking zombie here? And then they just walk away you know there's like no problem so i thought it was like kind of cool that like the zombies still like had their old skills and stuff even though it doesn't really make sense but uh oh the game's over that was a cool team at game wasn't it <laughs> so you got my uh, little rant about how stupid zombies are in my opinion but uh yeah uh team at a super good game honestly team at's so strong man he's so powerful and I, I'll probably post another one, maybe, where I actually go into, like, the specifics of, like, what I'm doing and, like, why I decide, like, which ult I choose and everything like that. Just because, like, a, a little more tutorial thing, because Tiamat, I don't know if I said this already, but you have to be playing good on this character. You can't play bad on Tiamat and not win the game. So, it's just, like, um, I'll, I'll go over, like, my decision making. <laughs> Everyone's flaming the Cherno. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching, that was, I I'm glad to, really happy to be making videos again. And, uh, yeah, here are the stats. Look at that, look at that. 25,000 damage, 
and 20k mitigated still. It's so OP. This character is so broken. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one, alright? Bye.